We're going to do the truth table for A and B implies not C. And we do this truth table. We're going to need the implication truth table, which I have right here. This truth table I grabbed from the notes in chapter four. Uh, it's right out of the textbook. In order to use this, we need to first figure out the truth table for A and B. We're going to do that right now. And so we have A and B. So this is going to be true when both A and B are true. So let's go look at when A and B are true. I'm going to highlight the A and B columns right here. So when are they both true? That happens in the first row. The second row here, we have true, false. That's not, we're looking for true, true. The rest are all going to have at least one false. So all the rest are false here. And I didn't go over how I came up with this in this video, but it's the same exact pattern in uh, every time you have three different variables. It's going to be eight combinations, and you're always going to do this order here. So we just did A and B. Now we're going to do not C. So we have not C. So it's the opposite of the C column. So whenever the C column is true, not C is false. So now I had false here, so I get true over here. Now we have true, uh, true so the opposite is false. False, true, true, false, false, true, true, false, last one, false, true. So it's just exactly the opposite of what you see on that column right there. All right, we're now ready for the implication. So this is A and B implies not C. The way I'm going to do this, the only time, now if you look over here at the implication column, it's almost always true, except in one case where you have the first is true implies false. So that means the implication is false. So let's look for this pattern. I want to look for true and then false. And again, we have, here's the P, here's the Q. And over here, we have P implies Q. So let's go ahead and look at, I'm looking for true, false, which is very uncommon. It's only going to happen, true, false, it only happens right here. If you look at every other combination, true, true, false, 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 true, all these other combinations are, oops, went too far. So that's the only combination that leads to false right there. All the other combinations are true, 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 or true. Okay, so this true false is the only one that makes our implication false. All the other ones, so we had true, true, which is true, true, and say so the implication is true. The next one's false, false, which is right down here, which means the implication is true. And likewise, all of these are all true. All right, so that is how you do more complicated implications. You first figure out the truth table for what comes before the arrow, then the truth table for what comes afterwards. And once you have that, you use the implication truth table to figure out if the implication is true or false.